Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Raven Schild and you can see that mm, the news are not too good. Uh, I tried to bring the atmospheric scout over to the rover or the rover. <laughs> the thing? <laughs> we, we have no name for it. And it just uh, exploded for some reason. I don't know why. I have no clue. It locked into place now I have the weird the weird graphical glitch again with the yeah with the whole thingies here uh, I need to stop this set it down so mm, I tried to fly it over here with the remote control. This didn't work out too well. And now the atmospheric scout is stranded here, I would say. It's uh, repairing it, I think. is There's no real use in doing that for now. Uh, unless we can bring something over here no we can't it's uh, the game this game for some reason it sometimes just does stuff i don't get <laughs> i just don't get it so let me try maybe i can move it into a better place or something like that the problem is that i don't have iron i have to turn down my volume here otherwise you will hear echoes huh. i don't have uh yeah i don't have iron anymore in the uh, in the rover the mobile base whatever we call it in the end and that's not too good because i am still building on it and now i completely ran out of iron i wanted to change that with the atmospheric scout get some iron in it and then um, try to bring it down here uh, didn't work out you saw that <laughs> so let me grab some thrusters and some more thrusters I want to have the atmospheric thrusters here too so I'm putting not available so the small variant I want to put down at least a few thrusters so that we can maybe at least bring it close to the... Give me a sec. I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> um, you, you heard that I spit on my microphone. That's not nice. So, um, do I have any more things in the no so I need a way to bring this thing up to speed I have one thruster back I have a few thrusters to the sides and now I need more downwards thrusters I think I will try to use these these are atmospheric thrusters these should work out a lot better than the <laughs> than the iron ones. Uh, maybe I can at least I can at least bring it up again. That would be neat. And then maybe one to the back side, so we can we should we should be able to stop it. I hope with these thrusters. Question is, can we... Oh, can we lift it up? Let us see. Weld this up. <laughs> I'm so used to the nanites now. Then I forget to, to weld this stuff up myself. That's... That's weird. Okay. I will put maybe one more down here. I think I still have the material to do one more iron thruster. Now let's see. Okay, we at least can 
bring it up and now we can fly it over to the see that, that that's what i did i flew over here i was high enough i think and then i just don't know i fell down the one of the landing gear locked onto the ground and then yeah i was done for <laughs> okay there's nickel i need iron again um i already found some uranium uh, close to the pole here that's nice but it didn't help me out a lot maybe I can use the atmospheric scout to at least scout a bit and see what's around in the area um, you can see I've put down some uh, cargo containers on the back and an antenna the antenna will move I don't want to have it there at least in the front, I'm still... Ah, nice. That's nice. Now it's repairing all that stuff. Um, in the front, I'm still building uh, the chassis. I can't at the moment because no iron. And in the front, I want to next build some uh, reactors. Reactors I'm missing and... If I get more reactors, I could start up the the turret and mine with it. That would be least, uh, that would be at least a bit neater than to use uh, yeah my hand tools here. The problem is now I don't have enough materials to even make better hand tools. Ah. Okay. Let me scout a bit and see if I can find anything that, that helps me here. We will see. I found this large, a very large deposit of magnesium here. That's a good thing. Uh, yeah, doesn't help me out too much. I had no luck finding iron here, but I'm finding other good stuff like gold. And I think we should take some notes and go and say Mars pole Mars pole and then gold so that we can uh, Mars gold um, so that that I can find these these positions again that would be need I think I can turn this off for now I can turn this off for now I want to keep the first landing because that's where the egg is and having the egg inside is always need so I will go and do some more work these dark patches that's at least what i saw right now where you can find materials i found some uh, silicon and magnesium over there some nickel over there and some silver now gold that's nice and i will have to see what else i can find there are more of these dark patches and i want to see if i can find something below the orange patches too that would be neat too maybe iron again i need to pack everything full of iron and then fly with that back to the uh yeah to the mobile base or to the rover base to however we want to call it maybe give me ideas if you have ideas to how to call it the range of the ore detector on this thing is not too high, so it seems that the orange patch is just that, an orange patch. But the gray, dark gray patches might be something interesting. Let us see. Uranium and silicon. That's nice too, but not what I need. I will scout more. Finally, some iron. I <laughs> I was nearly giving up the search for it and declaring Mars, the Mars-like planet, 
uh, an iron void thing. I'm I'm surprised because um, as far as I know, Mars is red because of the amount of iron oxide in the sand or something like that. I'm I could be wrong here. Don't don't listen to me when it comes to to absolutely. Uh, absolute scientific facts. I will just dig through this nickel here. I think it's nickel. And try to get to the iron immediately. Is that already iron ore? No, that's stone. That is iron ore below me. That's nice. Good. Whoa. Okay. I will collect that and then we might... I might mark this spot and drive over with a, with a rover to collect more of that. Maybe we can do that. Bringing back the iron, that's a good feeling. It's not a lot. That's all I could fit into my inventory here. The rest, hmm, I will have to see. Maybe we really drive over there. How much ice do I still have? And will that be enough? Because it's not, it's not too far away, 10k. It's not too far away from, from the rover. So we could go over there and see if we can mine more of that. Uh, and maybe in the meantime, we can construct more uh, reactors. And then hopefully we can uh, use the beam drill to mine that uh, we will see let me reverse that and hopefully nothing spins out of control i have attached the <laughs> you can see that the atmosphere to the sides and hopefully it doesn't screw us here completely so off with the handbrake and then we drive very carefully we drive backwards just a bit and then forwards not too fast <laughs> another this will be i think another climb here what is that? Magnesium. Yeah, we don't need magnesium for now. So, okay. Uh, I think that is, yes, that is the point. I will drive over there and we will meet us back there. Bringing the jack back into position. I now am directly, basically in front of the iron patch here and there's also cobalt nickel i found already but now i see that there's also cobalt that's a good thing we have at least with nickel and cobalt everything that we need for all the steel things um everything like stairs and and the metal grids and how they are all called that's a that's a good thing so we can continue to work on the structure here I can mine a bit more and um, I can go and maybe fix up reactors to power the beam drill. Maybe maybe we should do that um, now. I want to have them on the side of this structure. So I want them to kind of stick out. So let me uh, fix up some maybe here. So I want to place them here and have them stick out of the side of the mobile base. That would be neat. And then we could use some conveyors to connect them to these uh, containers and maybe use some conveyors to connect the rest of the stuff back up to this area here hmm let me figure something out and we can see if we can do a bit of a mining run with the drill today 
This is a good thing. At the moment, I can mine and the nanites at least pick up the stuff so I don't have to uh, haul it back to the base. So at least if I continue to mine into the uh, area of the there. So they pick that up and if I if I go back so I can just mine now and the, the nanites will pick that up. Um, I have to be careful at least a bit because I still have the maximum amount of rocks set to or not rocks floating objects ob objects set to a relatively low number so I can't go too fast here at the moment. I will continue to pick up until my um, inventory is full and then leave the rest to the nanites. I need to know something from you now, just for a second. Uh, are you also not able to use the big thrusters for the small ships, the big iron thrusters? I am trying to switch through here. They are not available or so I can't attach some. Um, would be need to know if you yeah, have the same problem. Uh, just yeah, as an intermission here. I have a second generator running now. And now I will try to use the, the beam again. Let us, let us hope that it now works. And we don't spin into uncontrollable destruction here again or something like that. I'm propped up on the jack. Last time I think I was just on my wheels. Let us hope that changes something. And where is my beam drill turret? I think I've turned that off both now and now. Oh, it already worked. Yes. Now the question is, does it something? It at least works in a way that it starts to dig. Let me see. Maybe if we go here, beam drill turret, and just say we want to have We just want to have everything, so just start that thing up. And it works. Ooh, that's nice. That's the way I want it. Now I will just stay here and mine for a bit. We have uh, power for around two hours. I hope that in that time we get a good amount of iron and all that into our cargo holds that should really help yes it's mining nickel at the moment that's not what I want maybe if I change that thing to priority mining so go and mine iron for us please hopefully Hopefully, if we start it up again, it brings in iron now. And let us see that. Yes. Good. And it mined 50,000 <laughs> units of nickel in that time. That's just crazy. Good. I will keep staying here for a moment. Maybe I turn that thing around later. Mine a bit more ice. That's also a, th also, th 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 <laughs> also a thing I would really like to have. Where does it store the iron at the moment? I don't see it. 
Uh, there's nickel. Or is the iron? No, it. Maybe it doesn't bring it in at the moment. I. It's not a problem. I will just. Whew, I will just mine now. Oh, we are overloaded. Why are we overloaded? Oh, maybe because of the. Oh, I. Maybe I. <laughs> you see that the mining drill works right now, and that's a good thing. I will turn that off. It could be that um, the the nanites working overload that thing, and I want to maybe wait for the second generator, and then we are hopefully golden. Good people. I think that's all for today. Long enough, and I. Um, think we are good to go for Friday now to build more on that thing and see um, yeah how we finish not finish it but what else we can discover on Mars maybe we could drive around the poles or something like that we will see in the future I would say see ya guys <laughs>